Adidas Dracraft shoe. Let's have a little chat about this shoe because there's so much stuff going around online about Adidas weightlifting shoes. I'm shocked anybody even ever manages to get the correct size. I've read about countless posts. It comes up too small, it comes up too big. Get the right size that you normally take in a running shoe. Jesus, I mean, talk about your head spinning. Let's get something straight from the start. This is a weightlifting shoe. It's not a running shoe, a casual fashion trainer. It is a pure weightlifting shoe. It is not a CrossFit shoe. So don't think, you know, you're going to go into the gym and, and start doing weights and then doing, you know, burpees in it and doing press-ups in them and then whatever you do, what CrossFit people do, I don't really know. Um, this shoe is for squatting, for deadlifting, for Olympic weightlifting. The fit is for weightlifting, so it does come up tight. Small is probably the wrong word to use. I'm usually a UK 9, 9.5, and, and this is a 9.5. Now, I will admit there is very little room in the toe box on this shoe. And this shoe is extremely narrow. Look at that toe box. That's a pretty narrow toe box. If you've got wide feet, okay, not even moderately wide, just wide feet. This shoe is not going to suit you. I think it will pinch and it will be extremely uncomfortable. I've got skinny narrow feet and it is tight. But again, this is a weightlifting shoe. You know, when this shoe is on, the last thing you want when you're squatting is your feet squidging from left to right and sliding backwards and forwards. This is what this shoe is all about. It is all about stability. It is all about keeping your foot in that prone position for whatever discipline that you're using it for, you know, for squatting. You know, if you've got, you know, a few hundred kilo on your back, the last thing you want is this shoe squidging from side to side, you know, destabilizing your core completely. You don't want that. You know, this shoe is tight fitting. The BOA system allows you to customise it beyond belief. You know, um, get the shoe done up really tight for a squat. Afterwards, ping up the button and let that blood flow back round to your feet again to save you getting pins and needles and some pain which is associated with these shoes um, on the bridge of the foot. And you will get pain on the bridge of your foot because this system is like a ratchet system. I've got it on my specialised um, cycling boots and, you know, I have to sometimes on the fly pull up the button and loosen it off when my feet start to swell when I've warmed up. Um, so sizing wise, um, I can put this shoe on, push my feet forward and I can get one finger down the back of this shoe. And as I said, I'm a UK 9, 9.5. Um, should you go for a size bigger? I would say possibly. It all depends how much room you want. Um, a 9.5 is quite tight for me. Um, a 10, maybe. But I think it may break in a little bit more. This is like a Lorica type material, which is a man-made leather. It's not the most flexible. I dare say there will be a little give in it. But then again, that defeats the whole object of this shoe. It is not meant to give. You know, you've got this reinforced plastic band here. And on this side as well, which as you can see, is strategically placed when this boa system is done up to pull it across the bridge of your foot. Also, I've read that this was spongy. What a complete load of bollocks that is. That is absolutely solid. Look at the profile of that shoe, how flat it is. It's a weightlifting shoe.